Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV being joined once again by my man uh, T Grizzy, you know, who's in the hizzy for shizzy, my nizzy. And uh, yeah, as you can tell by the way he is sitting, you know, he is chilling like a mad villain that's high on penicillin, you know what I mean? Just time killing and straight illing. Rhyme scheme. Anyway, all right, y'all. You know, we had to do this one. <laughs> my man Up Church has just uploaded. A brand new vlog video. This one called No Country Bows Allowed. Okay. I wonder if this has anything to do with uh, No Jumper. That No Jumper interview that Up Church did. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked out that No Jumper interview, man, it is a great listen, man. I highly, highly suggest y'all check out the uh, No Jumper interview uh with Ryan Up Church. If you haven't seen it yet, you know what I'm saying? Or if or if you have seen it, I mean hell, watch it again. Why not? Ooh, excuse me. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get right into this. Once again, from my man Up Church, no country bows allowed. Alright. Without further ado, I'd like to hear here. Go. <laughs> This dude is tearing up his driveway with his four-wheeler, Bobby. Hey, it's his four-wheeler and his property. He can do whatever he wants with him. Bruh. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Woo! These rappers got no hearts. They're always blowing darts. Coming at me when they drop, it sounds like a pussy fart. Oh, oh, rhyme scheme, son. Bars, okay, straight bars. Yeah. Oh, they didn't even blow. It just. Make dead noise. <laughs> Let's look at some of the comments in the No Jumper podcast comment thread. Yo. Ooh, I can't wait to see these comments. Wanna? All right, let's, let's do, do this. it. So we gonna act like this some bitch ain't say no odd shit on that Holler Boys track, huh? Okay, Adam. Or you could have just Googled the fucking lyrics, you illiterate motherfucker. Well, basically saying the same shit that that one so-called reactor, if you want to call him that, for lack of a better term, uh, basically accuse Upchurch saying the N-word, bruh. All you gotta do is, hey, which, you know what, hey, I'll give that reactor credit. At least he was smart enough. <laughs> I may be giving him a little too much credit there, but at least he was smart enough to look up the lyric video to make sure that Upchurch did not use the N-word. Hmm. Laziness is one hell of a drug, let me tell you. Well, of course you're not going to do that because you want to do this. Because you know why? Because there's a racist bone in your body. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're white or black, nor do I really care. But you either feel guilty for something and you want to bitch at me for it, or you're, you, you're racist and you want to bitch at me for it. So, yep. fuck you with a rebel flag ring on my finger. Why on earth do you have over 2 million subscribers, question mark, question mark? Well, you see, on that YouTube thingamajig, it's got this big old button on it. And you can click it with the arrow thingamajig <laughs> that you move around with the, the thingamajig, like it. And because he worked his ass off to get those subs. Keyword there is work, which is probably something you're not very familiar with. What happened was two million plus people clicked it. I did some shit. I've completely lost respect for you for giving this prick a platform. First off, he's not a rapper, and it's disrespectful to even place that label on him. Secondly, did y'all talk about he loves your Confederate flag and everything it stands for? Question mark. I hope you realize and have enough common sense to understand what it stands for, right? It has nothing to do with Southern... I like how he's, he's reading this with, with a freaking lisp. It's just... That sounds hilarious. <laughs> you know how bizarre that's... That's what this person sounds like. 
Oh, that lisp, that lisp is hilarious. Pride, in case you're... It sounds like Nancy Pelosi reading these comments. <laughs> Uh, with her drunken Heinz ass. Not aware. I can understand why people would claim you to be, be a culture vulture on hip hop if this is your prime. Well, hell yeah, J.K. Fuggin done wrote a goddamn Harry Potter book. <laughs> First off, I got my own motherfucking platform, cuz. Adam was just nice enough to let me on his. Second off, why in the fuck we gotta sit here and talk about the Confederate flag? I can show you one right here. And last <laughs> but not least, I am a rapper, a little bitch, and you don't like it. But guess what? Fucking care. Oh yeah, and keep calling me a co Big facts. Excuse me for a second, me clear these frames up. You know what I mean? But motherfuckers ain't foggier than a son of a bitch. All right, let's go. Ultra vulture. Fuck! I don't give a shit about that neither. Better watch it for I make a damn music video of me dressing like an actual fucking big fuck! vulture dissing all your favorite fucking rappers, motherfucker. <laughs> Example, you bring this loser on and talk about appropriation. What a damn joke. You're not from the South, Adam, so don't be speaking on shit you don't know nothing about. You goofy, big, four-headed ass bitch. He's an interviewer. We're not having a fucking bull riding contest. Or a fucking tum- And plus, how do you know where the fuck uh, Adam is really from? Unless you're related to the guy or know him personally in any kind of way who the fuck is you to be telling telling anyone where, where they're from bruh tomato picking contest or who can get the most dew drops out of a fucking honeysuckle he's an interviewer you're mad because he's interviewing me yep <laughs> i like it i love it i want some more of it the haters in comments I always say, fuck up. Don't know what it is. Got them salty like the ocean, but I like it. I love it. I want some more. <laughs> <laughs> My internet soul is bulletproof, bitches. Ryan can dish out criticism, but sure as hell can't take it. No, no. Criticism is good. And I still beg to differ because if that were true, I'm pretty sure he would not be subscribed to my channel. As um, if you watch through all my church videos... All my other church reactions, I gave him some constructive criticism where where it was needed, and then I also gave him some praise where it was needed. I gave him credit where it was needed. Same treatment I'm giving Eminem. You know what I mean? In my Eminem reactions, for all you pickle writing stands out there, y'all know who you are. Let's get back into this. But I think you're talking about the rappers who fucked with me. Like I couldn't take criticism. No, they can't take criticism because they're still trying to rebuild their social media. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. Facts. I can name you a couple of rappers who apparently had issues with me uh, crit critiquing them, if you will. Um, Lucy. Um, excuse me. Lucid. Uh, Screwface. Even though Screwface never came at me directly. But, of course, all his um, pickle writing fans have. You know what I'm saying? And they all know who they are. Say Ryan's a rap star because there ain't no black people who listen to him. Dot dot dot. Sorry, <laughs> are you drunk? Go to YouTube and type in Upchurch Reaction and just click enter. <laughs> you drunk. This dude is such a poser, I can't stand Upchurch. <laughs> you, you can't stand the dude, but yet you were able to go on to this, click on to this interview, you know what I'm saying, and hear the man. Speak in this interview. Do you guys not realize how how stupid you look when you go on someone's video and tell them some dumb shit like, oh, I can't stand you, or I can't stand this person in your video, or I can't stand you, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to watch a video of you uh, watching videos. Nobody wants to, you know, watch you interview this guy. Okay, so why are you watching these videos? If that were the case. Hmm? Apparently, apparently you like watching those kind of videos. Hmm? Hmm? Feeling better about yourself now? <laughs> Can't stand up, church. Because <laughs> I'm always on the throne, bitch. Using booyah. I like that. Can't stand up, church. Because he's always on the throne. Bruh. Uh, 
fucking star loosely. He makes good crap. Country rap. You know, for big time hip hop lovers, like all y'all people who make these kind of comments are, y'all some lame motherfuckers. Y'all think it's the coolest fucking thing that you've typed this, this message out like country rap? Yeah, it's crap. Ooh. It's like, motherfucker, you think you're Eminem because you, you sliced two genres of music together and called it crap. And you're like, yeah, that's right. That's right. You heard what I called it. K-rap. Country rap. K-rap. Yeah, okay, Mr. Hip Hop Expert. That's why you're the fucking listener, not the rapper. But yo, I know everything about rap ass. <laughs> I was trying to like you until you shitted on band play. <laughs> this motherfucker thinks I give a shit if he likes me or not. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not, you... That's something I can relate to to a degree. Uh, I remember me and uh, one of my cousins. No, not my not my my cousin Joe. Like I said, me and him, man, we like we like brothers. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we as tight as ever. As a matter of fact, I just had a phone conversation. A nice phone, post-Christmas phone conversation with my cousin. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you, Joe, if you're watching this, brother. Appreciate you. But no, another cousin of mine <clears throat> and I had a, had a falling out. And then, of course, he's one of those social media whores, you know what I mean? He, he needs uh, attention badly, because apparently he's not getting enough outside of social media. So, uh, he goes and he's telling people, like, oh, yeah, you know, we, we used to listen to his stuff, but now we're not going to listen to it anymore, you know what I mean? Because he sees things this way, you know what I mean? His views are different from ours, so, yeah, we're not going to support him, blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's okay, family. We're all going to get through this together. Like, dude, like, I really give a shit if whether or not you're, you're supporting me. And plus, odds are, with you talking your shit about me, dude, for all I know, you could have been feeling that way about me the whole entire time. You could not be, you could not have been supporting me that whole entire time, as far as I know. You're, you're just mad because you're stirring up drama, and I want nothing to do with your drama. You're a toxic human being. I want nothing to do with your toxicity. So, I cut ties. From this person because i'm not trying to have no negativity in my life i don't want no toxicity in my life if that's what you, you want to bring in, into a a a a, a, a uh, relationship of some kind you know what i'm saying whether it's between family between friends or whatever if that's what you're bringing to the table i'm pushing you out i'm pushing you away i'm separating myself from you you know what i mean because your family i can love you from a distance you know what i'm saying we still blood and everything i can love you from a distance you know what i mean i i that's it. Just you, you burn that bridge, not me, bro. So there you go. Let's get back into this. Goofy bastard. I'm not fucking sugarcoating shit for nobody. And by the way, I didn't shit it on nobody. I'm allowed to say, hey, yes, I was working with this person and my business model outgrew what they could do business wise. So I moved on to better business. <laughs> and if that's your issue, I wouldn't want to work for your fucking company where you just walk around telling everybody what they want to fucking hear all the time. Little house phone got that 1500 for crack ice, Xanax, and alcohol. I don't know if that's a, a actual rapper. I wouldn't put it past anybody now in 2020. There probably is a rapper called Little House Phone. I don't know, so I can't answer this question. It might be a reference to a rapper named Little House Phone. It might be. I don't know what it is. There could be a rapper out there named Lil Selly, which is short for cell phone. Or, Lil, or hell, there might be a rapper called Lil, Lil Cell Phone. There might be a... Uh, uh, a weird rapper out there named Lil, Lil Touchscreen. But he got 1500 though. Ew, what a fucking loser. There's literally nothing worse than this shit, Olivia. Oh, shut up. And meanwhile, this person has a profile picture of her going like this. <laughs> uh, you're throwing up the... Uh, Peace sign, which I hope that's what you realize that, that it means. And you're spewing bullshit in your comments. Way to contradict yourself. Uh, bitch, you look like you smell like coconut oil and wet, dirty period pads. <laughs> Fuck the Confederate flag, yo. Lost tour, man. Give it. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. That is dirty, bruh. <laughs> oh, God. Really nothing worse than this shit, LMAO. Oh, shut up, bitch. You look like you smell like coconut oil and wet, dirty period pads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, I had to hear that one again. That one was just too funny. Fuck the Confederate flag, yo. Lost to war, man. Give it up, man. Like you know anything about the fucking Civil War for one. Facts. Facts. It's easy, it's easy to say who won and who lost, but... And not know the full history of what happened back then, dude. Bruh. You're just reposting something you seen some other fucking twat waffle post. Exactly. You know what I mean? Fucking echo chamber twat waffle. <laughs> Your generation don't even know how to fucking use laundry detergent. I wonder That's what true. Adam Dissent want to talk about how that boy moves using... You see, th these are the kind of idiots I get too on my videos sometimes that, that don't like what I do, you know what I mean? That think that they're, that they're accomplishing something by trying to tear me down. Look at this shit. Look how they write. I wonder uh, if Adam uh, Dissent want to talk, talk, talk about... Excuse me. I almost gave this person credit. Wanna talk about how that boy uh, loves using the N word. Bruh. Dan word. Whoever the fuck typed that has short, flat, nubby elephant hands. This is a rap. It isn't him hot. And is also illiterate as all living hell. Nubby elephant hands. This isn't rap. It isn't hip hop. It's nowhere near anything like that. It's like totally the opposite of any hip hop. So trying to make it cool, like by adding the word rap. And this is coming from a dude whose name is Brian Hood. And apparently, since his last name is Hood, that that makes him some sort of expert. I bet you, uh, Mr. Hood here is from anywhere but the hood, bruh. So therefore, he only knows two things about the hood, and that's jack and shit. I'm just saying. Bruh. Bruh. You do realize that a comment like that, it, it really shows how much you don't know about hip-hop. Or anything at all. When it comes to music, right? I just want to make sure you know that. Saying my rap songs are not rap songs because I'm doing it is like you running through a stop sign and getting hit by a fucking truck because you're like, no, it's not a stop sign. It's a green light, okay, guys? It's a fucking green light. I'm allowed to run it. Everyone's like, yeah, you can run it, but you're still going to get hit by a truck for running through a stop sign. Mm -hmm. You can still listen to my music and not like it, but it's still going to be hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sorry. I'm glad it makes you really mad. That makes me happy inside. Makes me happy, too. And I'm glad that there's some people out there that don't like the videos I put out. That makes me happy. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your negative opinions. Just like Church don't give a shit about your negative opinions when it comes to whatever it is that he does. Whether it's his music or his videos and whatnot. Folks like us just don't give a fuck. There's like a bunch of butterflies just flying around go just tickling my organs. Just because you listen to hip-hop growing up don't make you a rapper when you decide to make music. Yeah, and your last name's Hood. Are you really from the Hood? Because if not, you should probably change your last name. <laughs> that's facts. That's the that's one of the dumbest shits I've ever heard in my life. Oh, just because you love rap and hip hop growing up, and then start making your own, it, it doesn't make it the same thing. Yeah. Okay, man. And I suppose you're one of those one of those morons who believes that two plus two equals seven. Bruh. I mean, I was really brought up in a church, so are you living up to your last name like I'm living up to mine? And I legit grew up in the hood. Does that make me harder and tougher than anybody else? No. Does that make me better than anybody else? No. Bruh. Bruh, you ain't. <laughs> well, what about the kid who grew up and invented hip-hop and became a rapper? <laughs> Is he not allowed to do that either? Oh, oh my bad. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know that Brian Hood would... Three subscribers and a fucking big pink B as his profile picture was the gatekeeper of all the rules. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, and I'm glad he mentioned that because very recently on a reaction... Well, it, this person uh, recently po uh, posted a comment in one of my older reaction videos that I did like months ago. But it was a brand new comment. And uh, they were trying to tell me um, how many times... or What was it? How many, Either how many times I, I should pause or... 
how I should listen to to these songs, and like basically trying to tell me how to how to do reactions. And I go to this person's channel, and there's a few things. Just like Brian Hood, this person only had a couple of subs, no original content of their own, but rather playlists of stuff that they like. And you're trying to tell me how to do my job. I'm currently sitting at 634 subs. Apparently, I'm doing well with what I'm doing. All right. So, I, last thing I need is advice from somebody who, again, has v has very little to no subs and doesn't have any original content of their own. That's the last person that should be giving any YouTuber, for that matter, that does have a, a following. You know what I mean? And apparently has earned their following by doing what they do, bro. Unless unless you're you're up there like church, you can't tell me nothing. You know what I mean? You got no content of your own. You have no ground to freaking speak on. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have a huge following of your own, you have no grounds to speak on, bro. I ain't with that Confederate flag bullshit. Not never. He's lame. Miss me with the excuses. <laughs> All right, Chaz Reynolds. With your not never with that confederate flag shit. Not never. Do you hear yourself you fucking dumbass? Not never. That means you sometimes fuck with it. Not never. You should just say I never fuck with it. Don't say I, I not never. Because that means you do. Fucking idiot. Fuck that confederate flag racist ass shit. Sure. Speaking of ass and shit. I got a fart. <laughs> what the fuck? That's probably the second video, second vlog video that I've reacted to where I've actually heard him fart on the camera. <laughs> well, seen and heard him uh, fart on camera, bro. There we go. Well, I'll be damned. Another diamond confederate flag ring. Holy shit. Up church is a stand-up fellow and one hell of a rapper. It's a shame he's gay. No, no, no. You must have got me mixed up with the other dude who's on the Hey Boy, Hey Girl song. No respect in the rap game for- you Must have me confused with the dude that's on the other Hey Boy, Hey Girl song. I see what you did there, church. <laughs> the other dude on the other Hey Boy, Hey Girl song. Damn. Ooh. Now, see, that joke is so funny because it can go one of three ways. And I'm not going to explain- uh, all of that because YouTube might tear might take this video down if I if I explain it But feel free to let your imaginations run wild odds are you would be right <laughs> For Confederate flag wearers or supporters don't tell me history about your ancestors died trying to enslave mine This is content is why I'm done with Adam Okay, hold on. Let me see if I understand this comment right then no respect in the rap game for for Confederate flag wearers Okay, keyword there wearers. I'll get to that once I'm finished reading this comment. Or supporters, don't tell me the history about how your ancestors died trying to enslave mine. This content is why I'm done with Adam. Okay, no respect for Confederate flag wearers, huh? Well then, you should not have any respect for Ludacris. You should not have any respect for Lil John and the Eastside Boys. You should not have any respect for Outkast. You should not have any respect for, who else wore, wore that damn flag? Ah, uh, shit. I'm trying to think of other people. Well, anyways, you, you get the idea. You shouldn't have any respect for those guys because guess what? All those dudes wore the Confederate flag in one form or fashion. Bruh. Uh, who said I wanted respect from you? And then there, there's that too. Bruh. I don't need it. Right. Very politely. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> See, this is the shit I don't like. Up your anal hole with a rubber hose. <laughs> Very politely. Fuck you. <laughs> See, this is the shit I don't like. There's no such thing as country rap. That's still country music. Nothing to do with rap. Keep rap out of the title. You're just trying to make it cool by adding the word rap. You about the goofiest, deafest some bitch in the whole comment thread. Does this really sound like country music to you? you Alright, 
I mean, what is it, motherfucker? You visually confused? Is it too much trees in the background for you? Oh, man, there's a bunch of pine trees. This must be a country song. Up churches, Nazi ass, ain't no streets. Isn't that's not how white gangsters are. And shame on Adam for platforming his Nazi ass. You do realize... Bruh. I want you guys to take a moment to look at the name. If you can, if you're able to, look at the name. If you, if you need to go to full screen mode, you know what I mean, to help it all out. You know what I mean? I'm not, not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just saying for, you know, in case you can't see the name well enough. Look at the name of the person who typed, who typed this comment. That right there says it all. There's no need to insult this person because they are insulting themselves with that name. And shame on Adam for platforming his Nazi ass. You do realize I said that I'm not from the streets in the first, like, fucking 45 seconds of this interview? Did you even click play, you fucking dummy? And, and you know what? I can back him up with the, with the assistance of one of his songs. The, in, the song Red Coat. Badass song, by the way. Love it, man. One of my favorites. He has a line in there where he said, man, he's not a gangster, man. He's not. He never claimed it. He never claimed to be a gangster. Bruh. Bruh. He's not a gangster. I think it's something along the lines that he's not a gangster, just a country boy with some style. That's all he said. Never said he was a gangster. He's not claiming it. I don't... Why do people from the country get called Nazis? We're the most patriotic people in America. Why are you calling me a German from the 40s? <laughs> this dude is a piece of trash! Uh, 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 you forgot the white part. Put some respect on my name. Fucking white trash! Yeah, this dude's a joke. Uh. I love how he's so salty and mad that he has to put a huge laughing emoji afterwards. <laughs> it's cute as fuck. But guess what? For the guy who made that comment, I just want to let you know this. Your favorite podcast that you watch all the time I've been a part of it. Does that hurt your soul? I hope it does. It makes mine tickle. <laughs> Country rap is a thing. Stop. What's wrong, Miss Shia? In a bad mood? Why are you in a bad mood, Miss Shia? Probably angry because your OnlyFans only made nine dollars this month because your ass don't know how to fucking shave properly. God. Oh, even I felt that burn. God, dog. Country rap is a thing. Stop. What's wrong, Miss Shia? In a bad mood? Why are you in a bad mood, Miss Shia? Probably angry because your OnlyFans only made nine dollars this month because your ass don't know how to fucking shave properly. Got these Ouch. random hairs just hanging out like this long. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. The death of hip hop right here. Remember, they're locking us up for lyrics right now. It's good because it has a twang to it, fo. Ain't nobody locking nobody up for no motherfucking lyrics unless they supposed to be locked up. It ain't nobody's fault. You got these stupid ass fucking rappers out here like, I woke up at 613 with an M16, put 13 shells in the back of his plane. Then the, then the feds come knocking on your door like, uh, yes sir, this M16 was shot 13 times in the back of this guy's spleen and this gun actually goes to you. So you're gonna have to come with us. No bro, what me? I didn't do nothing. How, how you know I did some? Well, yesterday on YouTube, you rapped about doing it with this murder weapon at this place to this guy like that. So, you, you snitched on yourself, you know? These guys 6 9 themselves. And sometimes, <laughs> this goes to show you how stupid people are. And you can look these up too, man. I'm sure these, these examples are still up there. It don't even have to be a rapper that be doing that, that kind of shit. It could be some idiot, right? that committed a crime, right? That stole like a huge amount of money. Some of you may, may get the reference. They stole a huge amount of money, right? And then they decided to go post a video on Facebook, right? Bragging about how they got all this money and how they got it all. They went and robbed the bank or something. I'm like, no way people could be this dumb. No way they can be this dumb. You're admitting that you robbed the bank, you have all this money in your room, and you're sharing that on a open public platform? Bet your ass this person got arrested. 
like like uh Tom McDonald once said, people so stupid, people so dumb, people so boo hoo wah wah wah. Bruh. No. And then all these other stupid fuck rappers like, man, bruh, little cell phone hard, bruh. He <laughs> he snitched on himself, bruh. <laughs> He's so, he's so scared of himself when he looked in the mirror. He snitched on himself, bro. That'd be the lamest excuse ever from these freaking diehard, freaking pickle riding fans. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, man. Dude was so hard, man. He was so hard, homie. He was so hard that he had to go rat himself out. He had to go snitch himself out. Because, man, he was just that scared of himself. Because he was that hard. Right. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, keep keep telling yourself that. Okay. That's how you know he are. Creek Squad! Alright, y'all. So that was my man Ryan Up Church. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag Creek Squad. With uh no country bows allowed yo <laughs> it amazes me man it still amazes me to this day just how stupid people are you know what i mean and it amazes me how you know people are still still repeating these same dumb mistakes whether it's the same person or a different person repeating these same stupid mistakes over and over and over again just like a broken fucking record you know what i mean or just a, a, an extremely insane person who does the same old thing over and over and over again, expecting different results every single time, and keeps constantly setting setting themselves up for failure, bruh, bruh, with these with these crazy ass typos, piss poor grammar. You know what I mean, bruh, bruh. People's they are people's is stupid. Is dumb, stupid, or dumb? Bruh. All right, y'all. So, yeah, like I said, man, I was riding up church with no country bows allowed. Really enjoyed this vlog, man. Probably one of his funniest stuff ever, man. It's good to see uh, old up church, if you will. Uh, this kind of vintage up church, you know what I'm saying? Just going in on these, uh, on these dumbass trolls, you know what I mean? That are just, you know, a bunch of, bunch of dummies. Bruh. Hilarious, hilarious stuff, hilarious stuff. I hope to see more videos like this in the future. Hopefully, we we will get those. I mean, church did church did say he's coming into 2021 with six arms swinging, and that troll level is gonna be up to 1,000. And I I believe it. If it came out of church's mouth, I believe it, bruh. Because church is a real one. Hashtag Cree Squad. All right, y'all. If you're feeling this reaction as much as I was feeling this vlog, y'all know the deal by now. You know what to do with that thumbs up. You know what to do with the comment section down below. You know what I'm saying? If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. And hopefully I did enough to earn your subscription. So you can be part of Jason JV Ranger Squad family. We very much love to have you as part of the team. Yeah, what I mean? Don't forget to check out the uh, social media links as well as the music links that you see on the screen here. And also, please, please. Do me a favor and check out the uh, Heart of a Shark Book 2 EP that is now available on Spotify, uh, Amazon as digital download, uh, iTunes, and Apple Music as well. You can also find the link for my Teespring merch store in the description down below along with the discount code, you know what I'm saying, to help save y'all some cash, you know what I mean, when you make your purchases. And uh, if you're feeling generous, you want to donate to the cause, link for my PayPal is also in the description down below. If you absolutely cannot support the channel financially, no worries. Trust me, I completely understand. Times are crazy right now. So, yeah, totally understandable. You are still helping out in the long run by simply clicking that subscribe button, which is absolutely free, and ding that notification bell. Don't forget to select all, which also doesn't cost a single red cent, but it's still a big help, like I said, in the long run. If you're new here, of course, and of course, liking and sharing my video so more eyes can be on the channel. Since teamwork makes the dream work, best believe. I cannot be picked up on the YouTube algorithm without y'all, and I recognize, and I think I nailed everything, guys, I hope. Uh, so with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying y'all take care. Hope each and every one of you that's watching this is will, will have a happy, safe, wonderful, blessed 2021 New Year. Let's go. Let's get it.
Y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. Creek Squad.